Hello there and thanks for watching my introduction video to my latest online tutorial how to draw and paint a child's portrait. In this video you can see the full course going along at a rapid rate. It's a full nine hour course condensed into six minutes and on the right you can see examples of my portrait work that I've done over the last 30 odd years. And I use exactly the same methods to do all these portraits as I show you in this tutorial. As you can see in the video, uh, we start off doing a freehand sketch and we discuss the merits of doing a freehand sketch as opposed to using a popular method called trace down, which I'm doing here. And what we do, we take our photograph, we crop it in the computer to the size we want and then we use trace down paper to get the image onto our paper ready to paint and there you can see it's only a faint outline there's a heck of a lot of work needs doing on it but this gives you what i call landmarks so that you can confidently enjoy drawing and painting so it's extensive coverage on the trace down because it's it's a learned thing you have to put a lot of effort into that uh, there's also a short uh, pho photography section just to give you hints and tips on taking your own photographs to work from it's uh, all the obvious stuff you probably know it but it just jogs your memory so that's about four or five minutes long in all and then the next part of the tutorial concerns doing a really detailed pencil drawing and this serves a couple of purposes it, we get to know our subject and we also enjoy the process of sketching and like I say I take you right the way through this I show you every pencil mark they're all uh, real-time videos so any mistakes that I make you see how I put them right as well which is another bonus we learn how to use our putty rubber as well as um, the pencil to take the pencil out so not only do we learn how to put the pencil in we learn how to make the highlights There's a full section containing all the reference photographs and drawings that you might need. The template for doing your trace down if you'd rather use my template or you can use your own photographs. Now the idea of the next section, painting uh, the portrait in like a monotone using Payne's Grey, which is one of my seven colour palette. Uh, I only use seven colours in all my courses. And in this particular portion of the course, we concentrate on contrast and using the same shades, it makes us concentrate more on the contrast. Show you a couple of hints and tips how to make the eyes and the mouth look natural. So that's a close up of doing the eyes. I put a little hint of colour in this one, in the eyes and the mouth and the clothing, which I think looks nice. So the point is, if you're doing watercolours on a regular basis and you're doing landscapes and buildings and seascapes, Paul Weller had to get in the middle there, didn't he? <laughs> Uh, yeah, just going back to what I was saying about doing landscapes um, and buildings and everything, you learned the techniques of how to use the paint, but it is a big step going on to portrait painting. And as you can see from all the ones that I've done over the years, you can get uh, really accurate results using this method. Now, if you want to use your own photograph as uh, reference material, that's quite in order. You can do exactly the same thing 
as I'm doing in the videos, but with your own photograph. And if you get it wrong, you know, just do it again. It's not the end of the world if you get it wrong. Just going back to um, the limit of palette, seven colours means that you learn kind of a library in your mind over the years of, you know, tones, different flesh tones to use for different people. And by, like I say, using just seven colours, it's easy to remember. You learn a lot about masking fluid as well in this course. You'll see shortly I'll um, take the masking off. There you go. And then I'll do the blending with like a dampish brush. Blend all the tones together. And I use a black and white photograph, <clears throat> excuse me, for the reference material because, like I say, by remembering which tones to use, you can get a more natural picture. So there's the finished pure watercolour painting. That's the finished monotone painting with a touch of colour on. And uh, there's the pencil drawing. So if you feel like joining me, <clears throat> sign up and I'll see you in the first lesson. Bye now.